Hello everyone and welcome to Rafi TV. Today we'll take a look on my Fire Cat build, the Flying Cat. This build is focused around mobility and attack damage, raining down fire on our enemies from above while also being capable of close quarter combat. Let's take a look on the gear now. The biggest difference from this build from my previous ones is the addition of Bombs Away instead of Immolate. Immolate is a good ability, but Bombs Away while dealing less damage is more versatile overall. One thing is that I like to think my Fire Cat as a bit too spirit, a bomber aircraft, while my Tiger Claw is a Harrier. A more strategic aircraft. Now let's take a look on the blueprints for the build so you can see how each piece of equipment is min maxed. The thermal cannon, some nice damage per round, medium splash radius, and 15 bullets clip size. If the perk will get later, we will have 18 bullets total. Our first ability bombs away, 130 damage per bomb, 9 seconds cooldown, 1.9 seconds duration. Here it's worth noting that the most important stat is not the damage per bomb, but the duration. Every 0.1 second will add another bomb that will deal the full damage per bomb. It's a very heavy ability and I use stabilizations for here for 4 extra cores. Our afterburner, the flying ability. 11.5 seconds cooldown, with the perk it will go down to 9 seconds and pair up with all our other abilities. 45 meters per second, some nice train too. 600 ish quality Culex wings that give us 8 seconds flight time. Inferno Dash. Some nice damage. The same recharge as the Afterburner. And some nice effect radius too. This is a very heavy ability and I use the maximum stabilization for 5 extra cars. Our assault plating here I don't get a lot of health because we will complement that with the perk that will give us 400 extra health. The servos, pretty standard servos that I use on all my frames, 6 meters per second also complemented by perks and 0.6 jump height. It's a very light servos that help us save constraints to use elsewhere. And for the jump jets, some nice energy, medium recharge, and air sprint completely tanked. This way we can have enough energy to stay in the air if we need to, but we will have also our flying abilities to complement this air time. And now for the perks. For movement speed, we use prototype pistons, sprinter, quick pivot servos that will give you 1 meter per second extra speed and also some increased sprint speed. Eye of the Tiger that reduces the cooldown on movement abilities by 2.5 seconds, it will affect our afterburner and inferno dash. Fully loaded that gives us 3 extra bullets on our clip. Tick hide to complement the health from our plating that we tanked a little, and necrotic bite to increase the damage to humanoid targets by 10%. It's the best DPS perk for the Fire Cat because Plasma Enthusiast doesn't work on the thermal cannon. Fire Cat weapon is the thermal cannon. 
the primary fire has some nice flash radius but doesn't do a lot of damage compared to other plasma weapons. The alternate fire will shoot 3 rounds that will also apply your incinerator pass. Main fire shoot on targets that already has incinerator will refresh the dark ray. Our flying ability is the soaring afterburn. You don't need anything else to fly, because when the glider wing's duration ends, you can just afterburn your gun. You can also use Inferno Dash to fly and help you with a, a short burst duration before you can afterburn your gun. Our last ability is Bombs Away. Do some nice damage and apply incinerator to our targets. When dealing with lots of mobs, you want to use your Inferno Dash followed by the Afterburner so you can get a greater area covered on fire. You can see that the area covered with fire is much higher when you use Afterburner after you Inferno Dash. And for a full combo with our abilities, you just use your Inferno Dash and Afterburner, turn to your enemies and use bombs away while you shoot at them. Bombs away different from other similar abilities do not load a bullet, so you can use it while you shoot. It's a pure burst ability. Thanks for watching, stay tuned on my YouTube channel for more videos about Firefall and Smite.